now we are exploring our family building options with the Fertility Institute of Hawaii. And as it is Pride Month, we wanted to uh, give a little more focus to our same-sex partners and the options that they have at the Fertility Institute of Hawaii. We've got the doctors here. We've got Dr. Carmon. We've got Dr. Fraudarelli and Dr. Goulet. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's start off with the first question. What types of uh, treatment options do you have for our same-sex partners? Well, the treatment op options will vary based on what their needs are. So like a same-sex couple that is female, they're going to need sperm. And so they'll need a, a, sperm, a sperm donor and then they can undergo intrauterine inseminations where you put sperm into the uterus or they can do IVF, in vitro fertilization. For a same-sex male couple, they need eggs and a uterus, right? So they're going to need an egg donor and then a gestational carrier or a surrogate to carry the pregnancy. Gotcha. And now there's this co-IVF. I've heard of IVF, but what is co-IVF? Yes, co-IVF is this wonderful medical technology that we have that enable both ladies in a female same-sex relationship to both be a part of the growing and making a baby process. And so in co-IVF, we can retrieve the eggs out of one woman, the genetic mother. We can fertilize them with their sperm donor, grow those embryos and then transfer that embryo into the gestational mother. So they both get to be part of the baby making process. That's fascinating and I love that it's kind of creating this incredible bond between the two mothers, taking the egg from one and then the second mother being able to carry a baby to the full pregnancy and, and through birth. That is what a, an incredible option out there for um, our same-sex partners. For um, And then I, I wanted to ask on top of that, it must be a little bit of a process for the finding of donors. And how would something like that go? What is, what is the process? So of course it depends on whether you need a sperm or an egg donor. Um, if you need an egg donor, for example, um, then you can go to an egg bank or you can go to an agency. And of course you end up choosing the donor uh, that you want. It's not sort of just assigned to you. I think some patients are really worried about that. Sperm donors, typically you can get through a bank. Um, there's also the option for utilizing a directed donor or somebody that you know, perhaps a family member of yours, and that's, that's also an option. Your fertility doctor should be able to kind of help you um, navigate through those dis different options and choose the best option for you. Awesome, so co-IVF, that's just one of the options. Many more to choose from when you are going through the process of family building. If people wanted to get more information on scheduling an appointment, a consultation, or just finding out more information about each option, where can they go? Well, feel free to give us a call to schedule a consultation, or you can visit our website at uh, ivfcenterhawaii.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, doctors, for joining me today. Thank if you. you are interested in building your family, go ahead and check them out. We're going to have all this information up on hainaldaily.com. Mahalo.